Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to graph inequalities on a number line. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. We're given three problems here to help us understand this topic. Part A here says we need a graph x is greater than or equal to negative 3 on a number line, and we want to write this in interval notation. So let's first start with a number line. Now what's great here is since we're creating the number line, we have a lot of freedoms to move around with this. Our number here is around negative 3. So if I, let's say, put negative 3 here, I have to go to the right of that, it would be positive, or more positive, towards the positive direction, negative 2. Uh, <laughs> I always put 0, skipping negative 1, silly move there, and 0 and 1. To the left, I would have negative 4 and negative 5, and we have a pretty standard number line. Now, to tell us that x has to equal negative 3 as well as be greater than negative 3. Since it's equal to, we have a closed circle right there, and then we want to say that x is greater than also negative 3, so the arrow goes to the right. Now, if you're like me, this gets a little difficult to see on the number line, so I like to put the dot above it here, and then move to the right so it's easier to see. But there we have the graph of our inequality. X is greater than or equal to negative 3, and all the numbers that make that true are shown on the number line graph. Now we need to write this in interval notation. Bracket says we include negative 3, the lowest bound here. Then we're going to infinity, and when we go to infinity, we put a parenthesis there. And so here we have the interval notation from negative 3 to positive infinity. Let's go graph the second line here. Well, we have at 2.5. So 2.5 is my clue is where I want to put some numbers here. Now, it's up to you how you want to do it. Some people like to make the number line by integers there, and we'll do that there, but we can see the 0.5 halfway. So if 2.5 is a number, let's say I put 2 here, I'll put 3 here, try to keep even spacing, 4, 5, 1, 0. Close enough. Now they tell us that x is less than 2.5. 2.5 is a key. Since it's not equal to 2.5, we put an open circle there at 2.5, and we put a little mark 2.5 if we want. Now x is less than, so the arrow goes to the left. So all the values are less than 2.5. So now to write this in interval notation, our lowest bound, we're going is from negative infinity, right, the lowest to the left there, so we have a negative infinity, and again, whenever you have infinities, you need a parenthesis, and we're going up all the way to a positive 2.5, but since we cannot include 2.5 in our value, we'll put a parenthesis there. Now lastly here, we have x is less than or equal to a negative 3 fifths. So what I'm going to do again is take or create a number line here, and negative 3 fifths is between negative 1 and 0. So I've put negative 1 here, put 0 here, put 1 there, and a negative 2 right there. Now they say that x is less than or equal to a negative 3 fifths. That equal to tells me we have a closed circle. So right around here is about negative 3 fifths. Let's put a dot here, and let's go mark it, negative 3 fifths. Now, x is less than or equal to negative 3 fifths, which means we have to go to the left again. So now that we have our graph, we have to write the interval notation. Now, since all the x values are less than negative 3 fifths, that's going to be with a negative infinity. And then we're going up to a negative 3 fifths as a value, the highest value that we can have. And since we can equal that, we put a bracket there. And so now we have our interval notation as well as a graph for each one of these problems. I hope you learned how to graph inequalities on a number line here. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.